Okay, so in this video, we want to simplify the following expression by rearranging it as a single fraction and then factoring as much as possible. So the first thing is we're looking for a common denominator, but if you are careful here, we shouldn't just cross multiply right away. If you notice, the first denominator and the second, they do share a common factor, and that is of course an x plus 1. If you factor x squared minus 1, it factors as x minus 1 times x plus 1. And factoring out this common factor will simplify our work. So that should be our first step. Before again, cross multiplying, look for common factors to factor out. This will again lead you to a simpler process. So we have x plus 2 over x plus 1 minus x squared over, and again we're going to factor the x squared minus 1, as we've just said, x plus 1 times x minus 1. And now we're going to factor out the x plus 1 term from both denominators. So we have a 1 over x plus 1 up front times everything else. So if we factor the x plus 1 on the bottom in the first case, we're left with a single numerator of x plus 2 minus x squared. And factoring again the x plus 1, we're left with x squared over x minus 1. Well, there are clearly no longer any common factors between the two terms. So now we can cross multiply and put on a common denominator. And of course you can view x plus 2 as x plus 2 over 1, and now we can cross multiply. So we'll have x plus 2 times x minus 1. Minus 1 times x squared, so it's just a single negative x squared, over 1 times x minus 1, that of course is only x minus 1. Well, let's multiply and see if we have some cancellation. So on top we'll have x squared, negative x plus 2x is plus x, and then negative 2, negative x squared, and on the denominator, leaving things factored, we have x plus 1 times x minus 1. Obvious cancellation, x squared minus x squared cancels out. And we're left with, quite simply, x minus 2 on top over x plus 1, x minus 1. So everything on top and the bottom is fully factored, and there are no common factors top and bottom, so this is our fully simplified answer. And that's it.